Okay, so right now we're going to talk about something called sequencing of the tenses, okay? And it's actually pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it. Uh, if, as you guys remember, we talked about the main clause or the principal clause or the independent clause, and we talked about dependent clauses. And we said, in order for something to be subjunctive, we had to have a weirdo phrase in the main clause, and that whether or not the verb here was subjunctive, depended upon what it said here. Well, kind of the same thing. Whether or not what we use here, what tense we use here, either present subjunctive or past subjunctive or present perfect subjunctive or past perfect subjunctive, depends upon what tense it is here on this side. So what I've done is I've created some little people here. And, you know, I'm sure you guys are going to laugh at my example, but... It'll work, hopefully. So, on this side, we have, well, on this side, we have present subjunctive. Okay? This is present subjunctive. And present subjunctive is very, very particular about his friends. He only likes to hang around with a certain group of people. He only likes to hang out with future, present, or commands. So, basically, in order for this, well, let me start over. This if this is present subjunctive, okay, if this verb here in the main clause is either future, in the future tense, in the present tense, or in a command form, and you need the subjunctive, then it's going to be present subjunctive over here. This is known as the present set, because it goes with present subjunctive. So what matches up with present subjunctive? That's why I did these guys all this... I did these guys all in the same color, too, so you can see that they match up. So, whether or not, if this is present subjunctive, it has to be either future, present, or command on this side. Now, kind of like in math, where they use variables, sometimes I'll take this one out and ask you to solve for x, and sometimes I'll take this one out and ask you to solve for that one. But just remember, future tense, present tense, or a command in the main clause present subjunctive in the dependent clause. If you have present subjunctive in the dependent clause, then it must be either future, present, or command in the main clause. The same thing goes with the perfects. Okay, This is still part of the present set. So if it's present perfect subjunctive, okay, the aya, the Mr. Miyagi style, remember? Okay, like aya hablado. Then it is going to be either present perfect here or future perfect here. So present perfect subjunctive on this side, present perfect or future perfect on this side. Let's take a look at the past set. Okay, now with the past set, obviously we're going to use the past tenses. So if it is preterite, imperfect, or conditional in the main clause, then it's going to be past subjunctive, imperfect subjunctive here in the dependent clause. And like I said, sometimes I'll leave this here in the imperfect subjunctive and ask you to solve and say, what's, what, what is it on this side? Okay, it's the same thing. So if this is imperfect subjunctive on this side, then either preterite, imperfect, or conditional on this side. And the same thing goes with the perfects. Conditional perfect on the, in the main clause, past perfect subjunctive in the dependent clause, or vice versa. Okay, I know that looks a little confusing now. Hopefully, it'll make more sense when I go over it in class. I uh, just wanted to introduce it to you guys this time. Um, hopefully, you took some notes on it. But uh, let's navigate over to the Colby website and do a little bit of practice. Okay, here we go. You guys can follow along with me. I'll do a few examples with you, and then you can navigate over to here, Colby.edu. Okay, there's the web address right there. So, let's take a look. So, here in this phrase, number one, ella dudaba, take a look, dudaba, what tense is that right there in the main clause? What tense is that? That is imperfect. So, therefore, now we have to figure out, do we need subjunctive? Okay, ella dudaba que yo, two different subjects. We have a weirdo phrase with doubt, okay? 
it's going to be subjunctive. Now, what tense of subjunctive is it going to be? That's what we need to figure out next. Okay, so let's click on our drop down. We know it's not going to be se or sabia because we said it's subjunctive. So it's either going to be sepa or supiera. So is it going to be present subjunctive or past subjunctive? That's right. It's going to be past subjunctive, supiera, because it's a verb of doubt and imperfect here, past, per uh, past perfect subjunctive here. Okay? I take a look at number dos. Hay alguien que what en la leyenda del chupacabra hoy en día. So is there anyone who believes in the legend of the chupacabra today? So, I. Okay, first of all, is there doubt or uncertainty? Yep. And is it present or past? I is in the present. So, we're going to use present subjunctive. Very good. Let's scroll down. Let's take a look at numero tres. Iba a llamarte en cuanto mis cinco telenovelas favoritas. En cuanto blank, mis cinco telenovelas favoritas. So, Iba, ir, in the imperfect. Past, so this has to be past. Do we need subjunctive? Yes, we do. En cuanto means subjunctive. So, concluyeron mis cinco telenovelas favoritas. Okay? Now, here we have one of those C clauses that we had done when we did future and conditional. Let's take a look. Si tu ex novia... And numero cuatro, si tu ex-novia, if your ex-girlfriend were here, en la fiesta no creo que te divertirías. So, if your ex-girlfriend were here at the party, I don't believe that you would have fun. So, we have conditional. Now, this is a little flip-flopped. We have conditional here in the main clause. Okay? In these C clauses, it's flip-flopped, and I'm going to go over C clauses a little bit more with you in class. But it's flip-flopped here. So this is actually the main clause. And we have conditional. So what do we know about that? If we have conditional in the main clause, then we have to have imperfect subjunctive in the dependent clause. They go together. So, estuviera. Okay? Very good. Now, why don't you guys navigate over? Give it a try. The website should give you some feedback, and uh, let's see how you do. Okay, I will see you guys in class.